digging it though. Brings me back to them school bus days. Shout out to them pink Converse's too. Back again with another Tom McDonald reaction. Shout out to my my weirdos. I got my weirdo shirt on today. Shout out to my dragons, divine, righteous, almighty, greats, overachieving, never slacking. Y'all already know how we do on this channel. Now, um, we got a new video by Tom McDonald. It's called uh, Heart Emojis. And um, to be honest, I don't know what to expect. I have no clue what to expect. I think that's what I love most about Tom McDonald's videos is I honestly, it's always a surprise. And, you know, I know he stated that, you know, he's going to be coming with this new content for, uh, for, the, for I think it's like the last week. He said that like two, three weeks ago that he was going to be coming with this new content that was just going to be different from what he usually does. So let's hop into this. It's called Heart Emojis, Tom McDonald and Brandon Hart featuring Nova Rockefeller. And here we go. Reminds me of early 2000s. Honestly, it reminds me of like early 2000s punk rock, kind of like Avril Lavigne a little bit. Just a little bit, a little bit. Digging it though, brings me back to them school bus days. Shout out to them pink Converse's too. I like Converse's. Oh, I think he's putting up, is he putting up like people's comments? That jacket's pretty crazy. That jacket's pretty crazy. Uh, with the, with the, with the spikes, the pink jacket with the spikes is pretty crazy. Tom McDonald and um I react to a lot of your videos Tom McDonald because of I like crazy you know I like different I like I like things that um just things that you just don't expect or see coming and with Tom McDonald's videos you usually I mean you never really know what's really coming you just know he's gonna do something weird and <laughs> that's the type of stuff I like so let's get back to this <laughs> Nova up there. Think making a voodoo doll is gonna make you a witch? Did I wear the right shirt today or what? But um, yeah, a lot of you TikTok witches, stop playing, man. You know, a lot of uh, the, this that's something that uh, if it's if, if it's not something that you, let me not even get into that. I'm not gonna get into that. But shout out to all my real spiritualists out there. You know, shout out to all of y'all. Love y'all. But this video, man, this this it. it <laughs> I don't want to bring up MGK, but um, it does remind me of what MG. I like MGK, but it does remind me somewhat of the, what MGK with the punk rock nowadays or the alternative rock, whatever it is he's doing. It does give me those vibes. I'm not even gonna lie, it does. Take you back. Welcome to the end. Oh, the best of them again. Oh, I'm not yours. You don't know me. No more heart emojis. Yeah. 
This would have been perfect on Valentine's Day, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I feel like if this would have dropped Valentine's Day, people would have been sending this to all a people. Like, <laughs> no more heart emojis, you know? I, that would have been crazy, but it's still good timing, you know? Shout out to Tyler, man. It's, it, it, like I said, it gives me them early 2000s vibes. Uh, those were really good times, you know? Really good times. So I always like when people, when people uh, take it back, you know? Yeah, see, you see how Nova's laughing at the end? They just be having so much fun in their videos. Um, that was that was pretty, it, it was a fun video. And um, honestly, like, all I kept thinking in that video was, I know me, I probably would have threw like, a, like the old PlayStation and Sega in there or something. It really brought it back to the 2000s. But it, it, it was cool, you know, definitely represented um, 2021 now. And... Um, and, every, and just, just as far as the visual, you know, he didn't have to take it back, but it gave those vibes still for me, you know, it gave those vibes still at least. And uh, it, it was a fun video. It was fun. You know, I love to see people who are having fun in their videos, especially, like I said, nowadays, I'll, I'll be in a car and I'll turn on the radio and um, when, I, when, I go to, when I go to mainstream music, when I go to rap music, I hear a lot of, I just be hearing so much toxic stuff. And um, it's cool with Tom McDonald being a rap, a rapper, how he also, like he said, he's an artist. And um, I think that's what I love most about his fan base is they let him be an artist. Whereas you, when you're mainstream, right, when you're in the mainstream world or when you got a certain specific type of fans, they don't really allow you to switch. They don't really allow you to be yourself. You know, they may want that hardcore hip-hop all the time but they may want that um trap music all the time but they may drill whatever it is they may they or, or emo rap or whatever whatever there's sub genres within you know genres and they may want just that all the time and um tom has a type of fan base did i just spit okay whatever tom has a, tom has a type of spin uh, tom has a type of fan base right where um where they, they let him be him, you know, he, he doesn't mind, you know, doing anything. He doesn't mind being himself because he knows his people not going to judge him. And I think that's the best feeling in the world when you know you got the type of support where people are never, aren't going to judge you. They're just there for you. They, they rock with your energy no matter what path you take as long as it's not harming yourself or others. No matter what, no matter what path you take, um, they're always gonna support you, and I, and that's why that's why I react to so much Tom McDonald videos because I really appreciate his fan base and the type of people they are. So salute to Tom McDonald. That was heart emojis featuring um, or with Brandon Hart and featuring Nova Rockefeller. Check that out. Salute.